Hello everybody, welcome back to Nick Plays Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Yes, we're still collecting the kids. I had to look up if this was actually needed for the quest, and it is, unfortunately. So you gotta do this, you gotta talk to the teacher, and then she does all the wonderful stuff. I had to look to find out where all the kids were. That would kill a man if you jumped from that high. Actually, it would kill a kid. And it's funny because I found the one, the first guy that we found in the last episode is the hardest kid to find. The other ones are super easy. Because we've already been to a lot of these places. Like we got the, yeah. This kid's back here, so. But yeah, we do that. We get the cabana deed. And then instead of it being the private oasis, it changes its names to your character's names oasis. Run, kid, run! Yo -ho! Yo ho! Yeah, we know you are. Jeez, kid. Can't see him because my head's too big. Or my character's head is too big. There we go. There we go. So we got all four. Holy smokes, that was tough. And what do they give us? Oh yeah, they give you a piece of heart. Nice. Right, go apologize to the teacher. Basically, the way I used to think about it as a kid is like you just became the leader of the killer bees by catching them all, finding them all, whatever. Yeah, uh, you gotta be. She gives you a purple rupee. That's worth 50 rupees. We actually have to do it at this point. Okay, so after you do that, you have to go back outside, talk to Ivan and the killer bees. And they'll they'll still be walking around. Oh yeah, as soon as you exit, they're like, yeah. Uh, it's Miss Marie's birthday. Uh, blah, 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 blah. She's into the joy pendants. I don't remember how much you have to give her. Okay, so basically from what it looks like is you give her... Uh, basically it looks like you give her 20 and... So you have to give her one at first. That's a joy pendant. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So you give her one at first, and then she gives you a red rupee. So that's another 20 rupees. We've just made 70 rupees off this old lady. And now she wears your joy pennant. And then... Give her another 20. Yeah, you bring her another 20, and once you do that... Uh, she gives you the deed to the, yeah, cabana deed. It's written yellow on yellow. It looks quite old, blah, 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 blah. Bad Adam. You see, although I'm a, I have a cabana.
Oh yeah, you can just keep giving them to her, but it's like, I don't know what happens if you give her more than just that. Anyways, whatever. So there we go. We just got the deed. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now... We're going to quickly just travel back to... Dang it. I don't even remember how where we're going, to be honest. Private Oasis is south of the Tower of the Gods. So, I'm going to quickly travel there, and we'll be right back at the... At Link's Oasis in... Or, I guess, Chicken's Oasis. Alright, so now that we're, we're just sailing back to the Private Oasis, we just quick travel to the Tower of the Gods, because... Easiest one you can get to. Uh, now, the deed is in your mail delivery bag. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, once you, once you, once you, uh, what am I trying to say? Basically, you have to show it to the door and the door lets you in. And there is another treasure chart on the island. Oh, no, 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 stupid cyclone. There is also an Octorok off, off the coast of this island. Or not Octorok, a big Octo. That if, I think if you fight, I think this is a 12-eyed one. So when you fight it, it gives you a piece of heart. Because there's two 12-eyed Octos, and they're the ones that give you pieces of heart. But, oh, excuse me. Alright, here we go. There is, yeah, there is, there is a treasure chart up here. Like, if you go to the top of the island there. Do I want to get that? Yes. I'm just, like, so distracted with, you can go under the house, too, to grab some more items. If you want. Yeah, welcome to the Lynx Oasis, or Chicken's Oasis. How do I get up there? I know you have to use your hookshot, but I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Does this work? Huh. I don't actually know how to get up there. I wonder if I have to just do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just like this. There you go. That's another treasure chart. That's super. That's a super easy treasure chart to get. So if you're here, might as well grab it. Open short. Yes, we know about that. Anyways. Here we go. Just swapping everything again because I don't know what I'm going to need. That. Why, that's the... Are you the new master? Are you master chicken? I should have named my guy Bait. Or Bader. Master chicken, please be gentle on this fine door. So now this is Chicken's Oasis. It's not the private oasis anymore. Okay, we can play this. Oh, 
Uh. Yeah, I'll quit for now. So we have a magical door. So this is what it's supposed to look like. What are you looking at? I'm pretty sure you need to do something like this. Yeah. So if you look up. As you can see, your character will look up at that. I was on it! Piece of crap. And by doing so, you put the fire out. And now you can fall down a hole in the fireplace. Which I think just leads you straight to... Oh no, it's a... It's a map. Or not a map, a maze. Frickin' rats. Okay, so I see that we're gonna need the skull hammer in here. Sucks, because I can't see. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that this oasis is built on a... Uh... On a sewage system? Like, it is a, it is a fancy oasis. Oh, I got both of them at once. Nice. Okay, so that was the way that we were coming before. Screw you, mouse. Stealing. I had over a thousand rupees. Now look. That annoys me. I just want to get through this. Okay, there's a rat up there. This might take a little bit longer than it should. Okay, so there is another thing there. Pretty sure I just killed a rat with that. I have no idea where we're going, to be honest. Okay, so this is where we started. Oh boy. Oh, okay, so we actually found a way through that one. So we went through, we walked here, and we went down this set of ladder. Maybe if I go back down this one. Son of them. I hate these. Why is there a re-dead? There's two re-deads. Three re-deads. Get off of me. Why does she have re-deads in her basement? Ugh. That actually just bugs me. I don't like re-deads. At all. Oh yeah, get some rupees back. We can't actually climb back up.
So I'm assuming this is the way to go because you can't climb back up there. You fall down that hole. That's it. Well, that's not it. That's just that. You can't you have to you have to crawl through the hole and I see something up there. That's a rat. Stupid rats. You're not taking my money. But you give me one. Oh, look, it's a golden ladder. I know this is a bit of a longer episode, but I think we made it. There we go. We have made it. So yeah, once you get to that hole that you can drop down where there's no ladder, that's where you go. And that's another Triforce chart. Yay. Also, for those of you that are playing the Wii U version, things are going to be a bit different. And when I say a bit different, like this whole, this whole, the Triforce quest in it is different. Cool. Now that we're done with that. Yeah, I have no, uh, no idea where I'm supposed to go. This way? Nope. Yes, this way, because then you just make it this way. Yes, this way. There we go. All right. Nice. So there you have it. And that is more of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Definitely stay tuned for more as we continue the Triforce quest. And make sure you guys follow my socials and my Twitch for more content. And stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.